Monitor, Wikipedia article audio. Monitor has been a part of NHS improvements since April 1, 2016. Previously it was an executive non-departmental public body of the Department of Health. It is the sector regulator for health services in England. Its chief executive is Jim McKee and its chair is Ed Smith. Criticism Regulatory Action Stafford Hospital Investigation Anti-Competitive Behavior The body was established in 2004 under the Health and Social Care Act 2003, which made it responsible for authorizing, monitoring and regulating NHS Foundation Trusts. The Health and Social Care Act 2012 gave Monitor additional duties. In addition to assessing NHS trusts for Foundation Trust status and ensuring that Foundation Trusts are well led, in terms of quality and finances, Monitor also has a duty to. Monitor's main tool for carrying out these functions is the NHS Provider License which contains obligations for providers of NHS services. The Health and Social Care Act 2012 requires everyone who provides an NHS health care service to hold a license unless they are exempt under regulations made by the Department of Health. Foundation trusts are licensed from April 1, 2013. All other non-exempt providers will be required to apply for a license from April 2014. It was announced in June 2015 that the chief executive posts at Monitor and the NHS Trust Development Authority were to be merged, although there would not be a complete merger of the organizations. In April 2016 both organizations became part of NHS Improvement. In July 2014, Monitor was criticized by the Public Accounts Committee of the House of Commons for the lack of clinical expertise and frontline NHS experience amongst its staff. The PAC noted that, only 21 of Monitor's 337 staff have an NHS operational background and only 7 have a clinical background which damages Monitor's credibility in dealing with trusts and its effectiveness in diagnosing problems and developing solutions. The PAC also criticized the proportion of Monitor's budget spent on external consultants and found that some NHS Foundation trusts had been allowed to struggle for far too long in breach of their regulatory conditions. It has taken Monitor too long to help trusts in difficulty to improve with three trusts having been in breach of their regulatory conditions since 2009. At the time of the PAC's hearing, of 147 foundation trusts 39 were expected to be in deficit by the end of 2013-14 and on December 31, 2013 25 were in breach of the conditions attached to their status. The PAC also noted, it is wholly inappropriate that the same person acted as both chair and chief executive of Monitor between March 2011 and January 2014. This was contrary to corporate governance good practice and Monitor's own guidance to NHS Foundation Trusts. The board of Monitor has a majority representation from former or seconded employees of KPMG, PwC and Deloitte while still awarding contracts to these organizations worth millions of pounds http colon slash slash www.reasonandreality.org slash question mark p equal sign 2400. In July 2013 six NHS Foundation Trusts were placed in special measures as a result of the Kia review of patient safety. Subsequent Trusts Placed in Special Measures Enforcement action has been taken on 21 occasions in the first 10 months of 2013-4, compared to just 9 instances in the whole of 2012-13. 
Monitor's former chief executive David Bennett admitted the regulator's arm's length distance from foundation trusts had become a little shorter as it intervened more readily and that increased monitoring and intervention was explained by a declined appetite for risk among Parliament, the government, and the public. Details of the regulatory action Monitor has taken at NHS Foundation Trusts are available on its website http colon slash slash www.monitor.gov.uk slash about hyphen your hyphen local hyphen nhs hyphen foundation hyphen trust slash regulatory hyphen action slash nhs hyphen foundation hyphen trusts hyphen special hyphen measures hyphen or hyphen un in August 2015 Monitor issued a letter to all foundation trusts telling them to fill vacancies only where essential and warning that current financial plans are quite simply unaffordable as NHS providers collectively forecast a deficit of pound 2 bn in 2015-16. In 2010 the Stafford Hospital scandal investigation recommended that Monitor de authorize the Mid-Stafford Shire NHS Foundation Trust. In line with the investigation report recommendation, Secretary of State for Health, Andy Burnham, agreed to a further independent inquiry of the commissioning, supervisory and regulatory bodies for Foundation Trusts. Spire Healthcare alleged in 2013 that a block contract agreed between Blackpool Teaching Hospitals NHS Foundation Trust and the clinical commissioning groups in Blackpool and Filda and Wire offered a clear incentive for GPS to refer patients to the Foundation Trust and that this was anti-competitive behavior. The contract provided the trust with a guaranteed income regardless of the number of patients that chose to use its services. Monitor conducted an investigation and decided in September 2014 that there was no evidence to support the claim though they did conclude that Blackpool CCG's plans did not go far enough to ensure patients would be offered choice, or that the right to choice would be publicized and promoted. Blackpool CCG complained that not a single GP, practice manager, or patient was spoken to by the investigating team, nor was a single practice visited. In September 2014 former Chief Executive David Bennett admitted that the organization had yet to identify a strategy to counter those opposed to competition because it clashed with their personal ideologies. He claimed organizations were using competition regulations as an easy excuse for avoiding making necessary changes. In October 2014 after the publication of NHS England's five-year forward view Bennett defended choice and competition as one of the ways in which we can drive change and improvement for patients, and we don't see that that will cease to be the case. Though competition was not mentioned by NHS England. He also said that Monitor, the NHS Trust Development Authority and NHS England plan to develop a whole system, geographically based intervention regime which could, include a special measures approach to areas facing serious problems with care. Set prices for NHS funded care in partnership with NHS England enable integrated care, safeguard patient choice and prevent anti-competitive behavior which is against the interests of patients, and, support commissioners to protect essential health care services for patients if a provider gets into financial difficulties. Basildon and Thurrock University Hospitals NHS Foundation Trust, Burton Hospitals NHS Foundation Trust, Medway NHS Foundation Trust, Northern Lincolnshire and Ghoul Hospitals NHS Foundation Trust, Sherwood Forest Hospitals NHS Foundation Trust, Tameside Hospital NHS Foundation Trust, The Queen Elizabeth Hospital Kings Lynn NHS Foundation Trust October 2013, 
East Kent Hospitals University NHS Foundation Trust August 2014